Hi, how's it going? So today I do want to show you a few tips and tricks. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Now, the first thing that I do want to mention is that if you look at your parties, you're going to notice that they do have uh, what are called passive skills. There's many passive skills in the game. They each have their own abilities. Um, and basically the way you combine these passive skills, which um, they can have a max of three, I believe, is going to really either help you out at, in your base, help you out while you're in the game. Um, so be sure to combine those. Uh, some of them will require you to have them out in the field with you. So you're going to have to summon them like that to have their effects. And then others you can just have in your party, their uh, passive effects, of course. So they may help you uh, without really having to do anything. Let's go ahead and see if I have somebody here. So for example, we have Land Ball, um, which gives a 25% increase to player mining efficiency. So if, we, if we're out and about and we're actually mining, uh, then uh, we'll be able to go ahead and mine more efficiently, meaning getting more resources. So again, just keep in mind um, what you do have here. And then if, oh, of course I'm getting raided right now. Anyways, okay, now if you go to the party, you're going to see the skills on the right, the work suitabilities. Each um, suitability is meant for something different. So depending on what resources you may need or help you may need, you can use their specific skills to help you out. Um, we do have kindling, which is to make fires. We have watering, so they can water stuff like the seeds. Planting to plant the seeds. Generating electricity, either for lighting anyways so we go back to our party you can see that we have different stuff handiwork means that they're going to be able to help you uh, build stuff gathering is gathering resources um, we have lumbering which is cutting wood mining which is mining stuff obviously like ore. medicine production means that they may produce uh, some medicine cooling um, you can use for several different things for example in the production of uh, gems in here so as you can see, um, I, sell, I settled here early on just because there's a, a few resources around. Usually you won't have that many resources. I did make my house off the cliff, but well, that's fine because you are actually able to do so. Um, as you can see, I have these here. Um, you need water for here. I have my pinglin or whatever his name is uh, giving me water there. I have my trees. I have my mining going on here as well. And then, of course, I have a lot of storage boxes. That is something I recommend for storing stuff you're going to need to early on, especially if you're gathering resources to build stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and look inside real quick. We have our beds, which are necessary for them, food for them as well. And then nothing here yet except another bed. Something unique that not a lot of uh, YouTube uh, videos do is that you can actually carry some of your guys so they're currently working i don't really want to bother him come here i want to hit you with the bat anyways you can go ahead and carry your guys and actually throw them specifically to some areas that you might want them to help you with so for example something tedious that i do is i build arrows and they take quite a while because you have to hold x if they have the handiwork skill then you can go ahead and throw them here and they're going to help you in the production of whatever it is that you need help with. So all you do is just pick them up and then, of course, you just go ahead and throw them. And then they're going to focus wherever you throw them. Keep that in mind just because some of them do have a lot of skills, meaning that they work in many areas. So they might start here and then they end up doing this, but you actually need them more to focus here. Just go ahead and throw them here and we'll try to prioritize that. Uh, also make sure that whoever you are using, once you are in your base, you're able to go ahead and uh, select them for the appropriate skill. So as you can see there, um, the Kativa has the handiwork, uh, the soil mining, and then they can carry stuff as well. And then of course they do have um, their passive skills. So for example, let me go ahead and do details. Increase to player defense. Obviously, you're going to need Kativa in your party to actually have this skill go off and increase your defense. But right now, since um, I don't really need none of that, to be honest, I'm just 
kind of chilling with my with my friend this is a multiplayer world so let's go ahead and show you something else here that's very important when you are facing a pal like that if you actually go from the back when you're trying to catch them you're gonna see an increase in the catching ability let me see i don't even know if that's a yeah that is a teammate as you can see it has a sav there let's go ahead and go here so 12 percent, right i'm not even going to do anything i'm just going to go to the back actually probably bring this guy back so as you can see it spiked up by almost uh three times and i just put that by accident so you know you can catch them just for catching them off guard if they're asleep then the uh catching rate increases even more so keep that in mind that's something very useful and then something else that i figured out um i'm wondering if it works is that when you're attempting to catch uh one of these pals if you jump on the ball or the pal ball as you are trying to catch them um, you can actually launch yourself into the air so let's see if i can do that I jumped off too too early. Let's go ahead and try that again. So we're gonna wait until it catches them. And as you can see, it throws you into the air. You're obviously gonna want to have a glider, but now you can basically travel pretty far if you have stamina. So I hope I don't die. Should be fine. Maybe break an ankle. But yeah, that's something that's pretty cool. Um, for early game of course you need stamina so uh, i myself actually increased my stamina quite a bit so that's something that i did and it's been helping out um a good deal so you'll also get skills as you level up as you can see here i'm barely level 12 and i increased uh mainly my stamina some attack and then my work speed as well as one weight uh, work speed again is just so tedious in the beginning that it's really annoying um, so that's something that i went for uh, you can have uh, passive skills where they allow you to carry more stuff maybe you move faster there's one that says speed but that's actually for gathering resources i believe it's not actually for movement um, you can also enhance your catch rate once you build this statue here uh, what I do recommend is that you just uh, use what you feel like you need to use for your skills. Um, again, stamina is very important, but don't worry. Once you get to a certain level, I believe it's level 40 or whatnot, you can actually make a specific uh, medicine that allows you to reset your skills. Um, let me see here. I think I might have to catch a specific one in order to produce it. But yeah, there's basically a medicine after level 40 that you can create in order to reset your skills. So yeah, again, don't worry too much about that. Uh, like I mentioned, build a lot of these chests so that you can go ahead and store stuff. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have for you today. Oh yeah, and actually one more thing is that when you're building your first base, don't worry about where you're building it too much. But I do recommend you build at least one. Uh, towards the beginning of the game just because you'll have the most resources there after a while you want to make sure that you have a lot of space to build your camp just because it will get pretty huge so for example this might be a good area here not only because of the resources but there's a lot of land uh, something that you might not come across often is ore um, so if you find ore or anything like that that is pretty rare you might want to build your base there that way it's easier for everybody to collect ore uh, and then again, you know, there's a lot of teleportations everywhere, so you don't have to worry too much about traveling. But if you feel like you're in a certain area where um, it's going to take you a while to get there, you, maybe you can build a base near there so you can teleport as well. Um, and then one last thing, actually, is that sometimes you'll come across dungeons or specific areas where uh, you might feel like it's uh, something important or like a mini boss, let's say. Uh, use your markers as you can see by pressing x i can use a marker and then i can make something specific for it here maybe maybe there's like really good ore there so i'll do that um but yeah that's pretty much it i'm hoping that these um these tips helped you out as well 
if you have any additional questions let me know i'm also learning as i go um but yeah i like making videos like this not only because uh, it takes me a while to figure things out but i figure there's other people that might need help so i enjoy helping people if you have any other tips feel free to uh, leave us a comment down below and then also like and subscribe i am streaming this uh, game as long as well as other games so check me out on twitch check me out on kick and yeah i'll see you on the next video